Here are four critical numbers in the climate debate that most people don't know. Below the video, find substantiation and more information for the short presentation. Three, there are three years left until the 2022 IPCC official report, the first one that will have solar particle forcing. This is like a doomsday clock for the extremists out in the streets this week when the official UN report will begin to show another side. Two, it has been two years since the particle forcing dataset has been released to the public. We have seen a number of studies already use it to refine known correlations between the sun and climate and to discover a plethora of new ones. One, one clarification statement made by the Secretary General of the World Meteorological Organization. You can tell he got spanked over his words days earlier and issued a statement that the climate work was still so critical, but he also refused to budge on his previous comments about the extremists, cherry-picking aspects of the scientific reports to substantiate their extreme claims and activism. Greta, AOC, he's talking to you. Zero. There have been zero studies using the particle forcing data that have shown human forcing of the climate. Not one. Most scientists have opted not to use it until they have to, 2022. But those that have, have found solar forcing supreme. The whole story of why the IPCC let this in, what is happening and what is expected to happen with the science, and the real story of climate change, all in our movie, Climate Forcing, linked for you below the video. Let's all remember, pollution is terrible for a million reasons outside of the climate discussion. And let's not forget where most of it comes from. Over a third of all pollution, air and plastic, comes from China and India. This dwarfs the advanced world production, with China having nearly doubled the second place polluter. Links below the video. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.